guys here's madame okay welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it if you enjoy watching the videos please 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 don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button thank you so much and see you soon bye guys here's madame okay today i want to draw with you actually draw and paint with you my hand giving a 3d effect so first of all i have to place my hand on the piece of paper and draw outline of it so as you can see i'm going around my fingers creating the kind of silhouette or just we will say outline of my hand Remember, I have to come back to it and improve certain lines. Like, for example, I want this division between my fingers. If you want to give a nicer shape, you certainly can come. Just make sure that you don't draw hard with hard line at the beginning, giving yourself the chance to go back to your drawing and making it stronger later on, right? Or improving the lines, making the lines skinnier. Usually that will be the case. Or finish them with application of another layer of pencil or later on even when you decide marker and you will see I will show you how to use marker here so you see I'm extending this part a little bit more this I like see that will be this finger so really do I have such a short finger ooh there they thought they had nicer finger I got and then you see when whatever I don't like I can take it off fantastic the next step will be to work with ruler so with the ruler i will mark divide the space on both sides and you can follow by the inch or by the centimeter i will go by the half inch so again that's where my drawing starts one two half an inch three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, the same has to happen on the other side. Now, what I want to do, I want to connect uh, those dots, creating the lines. So one is here. The other one will happen here. Notice, there where I have fingers, I don't touch them at all. Okay, I'm not going with the line through. So this is still going there. Fantastic. Then I'm going here. Fantastic, then you will have another line going very fast. Fantastic, so you can see what's happening, very interesting effect. And now we want to go by our hand and we want to create the line that indicates that it's going on the top. It would be like I would, my, would have my hand here, I would go on the paper and then I have to go on the top of my fingers, you see? So because they are rounded, I have to indicate this roundness. So I will go like this here, see? I will go like this, I will go like this. So you see very much, it's the beginning, beginning, the end, you see, beginning, end. And go around, really indicate the roundness of the fingers. What we want to do is simply going with the colors, and I like the colors such as let's see. So I always like yellow, so I place the yellow inside of the hand. That will be my positive space covered with yellow. Okay, and then I will think about the negative space uh, color that um, still will allow me to show those lines. Remember, I will come with the marker later on and make this a little bit stronger. Or maybe I would even use pastel. So you can use pastels on it, you can use markers, you can use uh, pencil crayons, or you can use, like I do, watercolors here. I can use blue or I can use which color I should use. Maybe I use red. Okay, so I'm going, oh, maybe no, maybe I use purple. I like really purple, so but I don't want to have my purple really dark. So I see I'm coming with the paper towel. Just a little bit, just indication of the color. The lines using um, the using markers. 
or just one color you can decide for two colors one for the hand one inside one for the outer space the negative space that's up to you okay so i let it dry now the painting is dry and i think what we need now is to just go back to the lines and make them stronger as well as the outline of the hand i will do it right away and i will show you what the big difference will it make to include the marker So, going back to the outline of our hand. See, and this, when you have to make it, for example, I made the line a little bit too thick, so I'm repeating it, the whole kind, the same kind of thickness all over the hand. I can do it. If I need to make my finger more pointy, I make it more pointy. Ooh, la la, it went a little bit too far, so I just have to go back. Make the line a little bit heavier, nicely introduce it into the drawing like this. See, I'm having fun. Wow, look at this, we have our hand. So I'm quite happy with the results. Uh, if you want to, for example, if you're a musician, you can place music notes here, you can play with this effect. And notice what will happen now. We remove the masking tape and we will have beautiful edges. And this is the beauty when you work with uh, masking tape, uh, creating the edges to get later fantastic prints. So remember, you need to use colors that will create the contrast to the white. So well, we have our project. I hope you enjoyed working on it with me. And now you will be ready to paint or draw your own using either watercolor paints or um, pencil crayons or pastels enjoy it have a good time and see you next time bye